I'm Mark Sisko. I'm Marcus Sisko. I'm Angie Sisko. And I'm Taya Sisko. Hello, my name is Mark Sisko. I'm a science teacher at Byron Center High School. I'm also the head football coach. First of all, we're very fortunate to even have a partnership with, with any institution, uh, much less CPR. Um, from a coaching standpoint, it's refreshing. I don't have to tape anybody. I don't have to tape wrists. I don't have to hand out ice bags. Uh, we're very well taken care of. And not only do we have one athletic trainer, certified athletic trainer, we actually have two. Our kids get great care after school, after practice, before school, at night. Um, and then if they have any injury that needs to uh, things done outside of that, they need a doctor visit, x-rays, so on and so forth. That stuff uh, for us is expedited at a, at a really, really fast rate. Our model is multifaceted. Uh, not only are they certified athletic trainers, um, Joe is a certified strength and conditioning coordinator who coordinates our lifting program. We have therapists who come and visit every Monday. We also have access to multiple physicians depending on the type of treatment an athlete needs. For every group you mentioned in that question, uh, it's really they get specialized treatment. Um, I know our students uh, are very well taken care of. I think that our parents are well informed. Parents are really provided with a really great deal of comfort in treatment of their, of their student athletes. And I think as a community, um, we probably built our own, we've probably been our, we've built our own uh, monster here because now everybody wants a part. If we have a kid that's injured in youth football or, or youth baseball or youth wrestling, they immediately want to know, hey, what time the, what, what time's the trainer going to be around? Are they available for us? And to the credit of our trainers, they've been great handling all those situations. Um, from the smallest kids to, to, to the best athletes we have, uh, including uh, coaches as well. <laughs> My name is Mindy Simon. I'm a physical therapist and I'm also the clinic director at the Center for Physical Rehab Wyoming office. Having a relationship with the Center for Physical Rehabilitation has been a great peace of mind. Um, knowing that they, we trust them and they're going to take excellent care of our children, of my husband, of my needs. Um, they do a wonderful job. Providers to get that peace of mind with regard to your children and how they're doing um, because that communication is so key. I appreciate the ability to just stop into the office. Uh, I'm sorry, I love you, I really do. Hi, my name is Joe Shermonte. I'm the head athletic trainer and head strength and conditioning specialist at Byron Center High School. I'm also the director of strength and conditioning for the Center for Physical Rehabilitation. And I'm Marcus Sisko. I'm a graduate of Byron Center, and I'm headed off to Northwestern University to play football, studying engineering. So it's really nice to have both Joe and Ann on campus all the time because they're always there for whether it's practice, a game, or even just after school getting taped, they're always there, they're always ready to go. Bulldog Power has played a major role in helping me get to where I am today and off to Northwestern University. I think that without it, we probably wouldn't have been as prepared athletically. I know it's made a huge impact on me because I've had two surgeries, two large surgeries, and I've come back from both to full strength and gotten ready to go for the next chapter. That enables us to have two full-time athletic trainers on staff, and a full-time strength coach. We are also lucky enough to have our house physical therapist come in. Uh, part of the reason I went there, probably the majority of the reason, is the relationships I've built with our training group um, as a coach. So when I had my shoulder redone, it was an easy choice for me to go there. Not only did I know I'd get great care, but I'd work with some great friends. I chose to go to the CPR because I already had a strong relationship with both Joe and Ann from them being the trainers at our school. And I know that they do everything to take care of me. So when I went to CPR, I knew that they would also do everything in their power to take care of me and get me back to where I was supposed to be. I also chose uh, the Center for Physical Rehabilitation for my The family has gone through CPR. I then followed footsteps, getting rehabilitation on my foot and my shoulder.
first of all, uh, my shoulder allowed me to get back to coaching the way I want to coach. Um, I think somewhere in there I'm still 17 years old, and I love to be able to throw the ball with my players. My therapy experience allowed me to get back to being the four-sport athlete that I was in high school, playing football, wrestling, running track, and playing baseball in the spring. And I was just so grateful that I was able to get back to full strength and be the player that I've always been. My therapy experience allowed me to get back into my horse riding and coaching as well as going to school and working. My therapy experience allowed me to get back to keeping these three in line. <laughs> means safety, uh, <laughs> but it, it gives us a chance to really have a conversation about our therapy. You know, it's tough as teenagers to even get them to have a conversation, and really this becomes a conversation starter for us. Um, and so again, that just makes the level of care even, even better for us. It's all gold. It's nice to be able to just send the kids on their way to their appointments and know that we'll get that communication and they'll be taken care of. I think we as a family chose CPR just because of the special relationship we had with the people that were already there, Joe and Ann and Mindy, like they have all done so much for us, so it was only right to go to them. And they're the best. 